Hello everyone, welcome back to the tutorial series. Today we will try to install the Hyperledger. We will start with the Hyperledger Composer and it will install, it will uh, guide us to install the fabric also. So, this is the link. I will share this link along with the video. Um, I, I request everyone to try this one okay even though you may not be a programmer just try it out it's pretty easy and um, um, i will gu guide you and someone if you have any questions you can drop a question to the group someone uh, if i cannot answer someone from the group will answer you okay so let's start so this is the link i have opened it installing prerequisite Okay, oh no, sorry. Installing development environment. Okay, I let me go close this. Installing pre requisites. Okay, Ubuntu. I have a Ubuntu system. I, I, I have a Windows 10. Okay, um, I have installed a VM on top of it and installed a uh, Ubuntu. Uh, okay, first of all, anybody have any trouble installing VM on a Windows um, and installing Ubuntu? Let me know. Okay, um, I can guide you. Um, th there may be some issue there. Um, okay, um, but uh, just leave a message. I will guide you on that. So um, Ubuntu, we have. To run Hyperledger Composer and Fabric, we recommend at least 4 GB of memory. Okay, and uh, operating system Ubuntu. We are going to install Docker, Docker Compose, Node, npm, JIT, Python, and VS Code for the uh, editing Visual Studio Code. Uh, uh, and uh, okay, let's start installing. So this is the command. First you have to install curl sudo apt yeah sudo install. Um, I have already installed that's why I didn't install again uh, so you guys are able to do first that one then then copy this command curl I, I just I already did all those steps so I will get that one so just copy this line and run it will download a file Called previous and change the ch mode then just run okay uh, it will it will take a while to finish okay there are um i mean minimum 10 15 minutes depending on the system speed okay just to discuss various elements okay various elements in the hyperledger we are going to install the first comes the node js so um node js is an open source javascript runtime environment um and it executes javascript code on a server usually javascript we use for client side but um, we using this uh, node.js framework we can execute javascript into the server and it is it is massively popular framework um, it is only nine years old but um, it has impressive list of followers um, there are um, so those who are not a developer, I recommend start programming with Node.js. It's that easy 
and uh, I am it is fast also it it uses uh, Google's V8 JavaScript engine and it is, that V8 is written in C++ and it is fast um, um, the only drawback I see that when 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 the applications that involve lots of processing reading files those kind of things the node.js is very slow it is not recommended to use but but all other simple uh, websites the um, simple web applications and all node.js is the perfect place um, so um, it is started by this guy ryan ryan bell so um, an Im impressive work by him okay uh, then comes to docker okay docker um it, it used to run softwares in a um, software packages um inside the inside the app uh, um, inside a uh, what do you say in, in inside a virtual virtual environment called containers okay um it is different from uh, virtual machines we have seen virtual machines okay v virtual machines are like that there will be a server on top of uh, the there will be a host os then there will be a hypervisor on top of that we will install a uh, guest os it may be a windows this uh, the second os may be linux um, like that, uh, um, like me, I have installed this VM, Oracle VM on a Windows 10 machine using this uh, virtual machine software. So, um, the disadvantage of this one is that we have uh, already one OS. On top of that, we are installing an entirely new OS. So, th there are uh, resource um, over utilization uh, resource uh, the optimal utilization of resources are not happening here so as i am as i fixed to this problem the docker containers came into picture there will be only one os and there will be lightweight engine docker engine on the, the top of that we will install um our software um, apps um so um take an example google and all they are massively using these concepts the big companies they have hundreds of thousands um, uh, um these instances will be uh, running every day for their uh, the, the, uh, dynamically instantiating those instances uh, and um, they are uh, they are using their resources as optimally as possible so um, th th this um, I, I will explain I'm planning to um, make a video about this uh, docker specifically for the docker so um, I will upload that later um, then we have seen one more thing called yeoman um, yeoman is for generating skeletons um, okay um, web application skeletons um, so uh, there is nothing we need to name more about it uh, it just understand that these are our generators um, uh, they, they they generate templates um, okay um, so let's go back to our installation we have run this command successfully um, please log out then login before continuing okay uh, okay we finished that one what's next Configuration of installation of previous request of Hyperledger Composer is complete. You can now proceed to next one, installing the development environment. Okay, let's go there. And the installing development com com um, environment, we have to do this npm.
this npm stands for node package manager okay um y using that we can install um, this co composer cli cli stand for command line interface so um using that we will execute commands on composer then okay it will uh, yeah it will finish um, it may not take that much time come on then we will install the second installation let's copy before it complete taking time okay move, move, move faster yeah um then uh, We, we docker we can install on windows also okay um, but um, it needs to have windows 10 um, that's the only limitation um, yeah this one finished just go back to yeah the second just run the second command if you recall this also will take a little bit more time let's um, okay you we will run all the four then um, all these commands will um, we have to execute then uh, once um, the step two the installation of playground we will discuss more detail about this playground um, this will this is a helpful tool for us to design our um, system and we will be using um, ID that will be Visual Studio Code. So um, this one is um, getting popular, um, especially in the open source communities. Um, it is getting popular. So we will install this one. Okay, it has a Windows edition, Mac edition, Unix edition. Um, we will select this one, and um, it it will. It will ask for its uh, software install. Oh, sorry. Uh, what I did, I cancelled. Let's go back and do it again. It will um, it will highlight the syntax and it is very useful. Um, we will be using this. Uh, um, um, yeah. Um, once that is done. Uh, then we have to install yo yeah we discussed about that then install hype hy hyper ledger fabric okay so uh, this should this should not take any i i do not see any more issue in um, those installation and just follow the instructions and uh, um, um yeah fabric um, just uh, make a directory and then install the curl and um, um, just run the fab uh, once you installed move to this directory 
then we have to set this one okay just to follow the instructions one by one then um, enter the download fabric data search it will finish the uh, download and installation um, then once installation is done you have to go th um, this folder set the fabric version start fabric then uh, create peer admin card now now um, all that um, after all that finishing you can run this com composer playground and uh, just um, access that in localhost 8080 okay just try it out okay if there is an issue we will uh, when we regroup we can uh, discuss more okay thank you bye